Um, because there are other really good whaling compositors that I need to get around to actually trying. I mentioned River just before. This is a really small whaling compositor. It's a thousand commits right now. How do I check? Uh, uh, how do I check the size of the repo? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it's a thousand commits right now. And this is... Like, a lot of people really like this. I think what River does really well is there is a lot of custom layouts for it. And I'll get back to layouts after. Actually, I'll add this on my list. Um, there's a lot of custom layouts for it. So if you want to have things, you know, lay it, laid out in a certain way that isn't just, you know, your basic spiral, master stack, things like that, River has a lot of things going for it. There are other things out there, like Qtile actually does work uh, on the Wayland side as well. Um, if I just do Qtile Wayland. Maybe I go Q I can go Qtile Repo. Yeah, that'll work. Qtile. I stand by the fact that I need someone doing this for me. <laughs> One day I'd like to pay someone to be my Jamie. Um, yeah, you have Qtile as well, which is just the exact same as it works on X11. Obviously now it's not just a window manager. Now it would also be your Wayland compositor as well. Um, so if you're already using Qtile, like this would be perfectly fine to come over to the Wayland side with. Uh, I've not used Qtile. It's configured in Python, so it wouldn't be that difficult to learn how to do. Uh, it's just a matter of actually sitting down and uh, and doing it. I don't really want to get myself involved in like a a big heavy configuration uh, environment again. Maybe I'll do it at some point. I'm sure it would be fun. But right now, I just like things to be simple, and yeah. So that also knocks out things like DWL as well. So this, it describes itself as DWM for Wayland, and what that means is it's broken. <laughs> what that means is it's very simple, and it doesn't include a lot of the functionality you'd want it to include, because... Install the patches, guys. Install patches. We could just make these things, especially these cases where they're like basic stuff you want to have. We could just make these things part of the actual actual window manager. Nah, 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 nah. What is restart DWL? This patch allows you to restart DWL with a key binding. See, this is why I don't use DWL, because you need to install like 30 patches just to have the functionality that any other window manager would just automatically have. I like mouse follows focus. This patch adds the option to let the cursor jump to the center of new clients. Yeah, this is like, I'm, I'm sure DWL is great for the people who like DWL. And if you like that experience of having to add patches to have basic functionality, be my guest. I'm not trying to take that away from you. I'm just saying it's really not something that I that I want to get back into. Uh, I'm sure there are other options out there. Let's see. I know there was a list of uh, good options sent to me a little while ago. I think I've seen all of them. Um, is this it? Can I see it? Am I going to be able to find it? I probably won't be able to. Probably, uh, someone sent, uh, they sent the post to me on, like, Mastodon or something. If I go to post and replies here, can I find it? Ah, that's another one. Um, lab WC. Uh, so, Lab WC is sort of the... Lab WC is kind of like... What's the... Western. Western. Yeah, that's it. So... Western is the reference whaling compositor. This is sort of your example of how to make a whaling compositor. I'll find the repo here. Where the hell is the repo? Western repo. I'm fucking not finding it. <laughs> here we go. Thank you. Okay, Western Wayland. This is the reference Wayland compositor that just gives you an understanding of how to build a Wayland compositor, basically. Whereas LabWC, sort of, it's really not much on top of, of, um, of, uh, Western. 
basically lab wc is kind of like the the reference um the reference w or roots compositor so sway a lot of people use as like a baseline of how to do things and overdo it river is good at doing things simply and lab wc is just how to follow w or roots as closely as possible so lab wc is it doesn't have extra things like the i3 api and all of these extra things that make sway really powerful but it's also really lightweight and it's a stacking compositor which you know a lot of them aren't stacking positive, so it's a lot more like Openbox, for example. LabWC just does not have the functionality that I want it to have. It just, like, it, it's literally in the, the readme, describes itself as a boring window manager. And if you want something that just works and is just WL roots and is not the extra i3 stuff, LabWC is also great. Also, it's stacking, so... That's a, that's a floating window manager. And there's not that many floating window managers out there. So, you know, is pretty much one of your better options to go with. 